It's been four months since Meridian Township apologized to Breanne Randall Gay for mishandling a 2004 police report she filed against Larry Nasser. Since then, Meridian Township has worked with Randall Gay on a community-wide sexual assault prevention program. On June 22, Meridian Township and Randall Gay held the second Sexual Assault Prevention Committee meeting. It was open to the public and committee members were present throughout the meeting, including representatives from Hazlitt Public Schools, Okemos Public Schools, the Firecracker Foundation, Meridian Township Police Department, and the Meridian Township Board. The committee discussed multiple initiatives they plan to implement in the community to prevent sexual assault, including the distribution of an educational pamphlet throughout Meridian Township in the school districts. It discusses what childhood sexual abuse is, um, signs of sexual abuse, and how to report it. It also gives parents information on how to talk to their kids about this and resources for that. On the bottom of the brochure, Randall Gay listed resources for victims and families of sexual abuse, including the Firecracker Foundation, which joined the committee in April. Firecracker is available. We do extensive training on Title IX issues and issues with uh, caretakers and parents on, on how to respond to sexual um, abuse. And we also are uh, trained to do darkness to light uh, training. Darkness to Light offers a training exercise called Stewards of Children, which Randall Gay would like to bring to Meridian Township. We had talked about having some sessions at Meridian Township or maybe at the schools in order for adults in the community to come and receive training on how to recognize signs of abuse and respond appropriately. This is a two-hour training session. It um, costs $10 per person. In terms of funding, um, I am actually going to be covering some of the cost of the funding, um, and so part of the money that I will be receiving from Meridian Township will actually go towards the cost for the Stewards of Children program. I really want to, you know, use that to just give back to the community and make sure that we are um, making change. The Meridian Township Police Department is also working towards combating sexual assault. Everybody in our police department has received um, sexual assault training in and it's the best way to understand how victims react to sexual assault and how to proceed with those investigations in a uh, effective manner. Also, all sex complaints of sexual assault are not only reviewed by our investigations unit, but the final review is by the chief of police where the chief makes sure that all avenues and support and investigative resources have been exhausted. Randall Gay said Meridian Township is moving in the right direction since mishandling the 2004 police report she filed against Nasser. I think they just have a lot more awareness of the importance of, um, of responding appropriately to victims of sexual abuse and there's so much more training available to the officers now than there was at that time. So they've really put an emphasis on um, on being able to support victims and, um, you know, be able to, to get them justice. While the last Sexual Assault Prevention Committee meeting is scheduled for September 21st, Randall Gay hopes this program is a continuous effort. Awareness is, is the biggest thing. Um, unfortunately, this is something that a lot of people have not wanted to talk about. Um, for so many years, I, I felt like I was silenced, um, and so many victims have been silenced. And so as awareness grows, it's, you know, it's easier for people to talk about, and they feel like they have a safe place to do so. Um, and so, you know, that's really vital in, in changing the culture of sexual abuse.